Hey, what's up, man? Gus Five Barrel, uh, new location. I'm actually crashing at my parents' house. My condo is going through a few renovations, so yeah. Uh, a few things. Labor Day. And yeah, I did work today, uh, but can't help but to hear the news, man. I'm here in New York City, as you people know. And uh, I'm just reading about all the violence in Brooklyn. I just chimed in. I, well, I want to chime in to give my opinion. To be honest, it, it's not a surprise. It's not something that I didn't expect. But with all go that's going on, with all the, you know, with the uh, Kaepernick and uh, Black Lives Matter and all of the, this other shit going on, I, I figured that maybe this may be a summer where we calm the fuck down and actually show that, that we can celebrate in the streets, that we can party, that we can have fun, that there can be more than five or ten of us in a group in one place at one time and no violence breaks out. But of course, it's totally wrong. You know what? I'm tired of defending you niggas. I really am. Um, I mean, I, I, I can't even count the debates. I can't even count how many times I've spoken out about the gentrification going on in Brooklyn, the gentrification going on in Harlem, all over New York City. They're pushing all the poor people out, AKA black and Hispanic. They're pushing everybody out. And you know what? At this point, I really don't give a fuck. I really, I'm leaving any, I'm leaving New York City. I'm, I'm, you, you're gonna see within the next, within the few months, you'll see me in different settings. I'm heading down south, man. I can't take this shit. You Negroes are embarrassing. You Negroes are embarrassed. I just read about a grandmother. She's nursing bullet wounds. You, our elders can't come outside to celebrate in the summertime without being shot. This is fucking embarrassing. This should embarrass any black person. It should, but it won't because you have no shame. You got a 17-year-old black boy, high school student, dead, shot dead for, for probably some bullshit. You got a 22-year-old uh, college student studying to be an accountant like my father, shot right above her right eye, shot in the head, dead, coming out to celebrate amongst you Negroes. You know, gentrify this whole shit. Gentrify this whole, it's only gonna get rid of niggas. Red, normal black people, we can pay rent and pay, you know, security and we do this. We work, we grind. I don't qualify for jack shit. I couldn't get, I couldn't get five dollars in food stamps if I if I <laughs> applied. But gentrify this shit. You niggas ain't putting your money together to buy properties. All you niggas are doing is killing each other. Wow. We run around and pretend like black lives matter to us. It's just sickening and embarrassing to see this grandmother shot. And it was, and what really pisses me off is the fact that I know that it was one of these little bastards that run around with their pants hanging down, no father in the house, mother tattooed the fuck up smoking black and miles in the house around the babies. I know what it's like. Save up your Air Jordan money and get a little rusty 25. I'm just sick of you niggas, man. I'm just... and No, I don't hate black people. So save the... the coon shit. No, I don't hate my people. Because my people don't do this. I'm here to let the world know that there is a very big difference between black people and niggas. Okay? Yes, anyone can be a nigga, but I'm talking to my people right now. There's a very big difference between black people and niggas. They should 
every time some shit like this happens, and, I, and I'm speaking about the shootings in Brooklyn, they should charge the parents, find, track the father, the, track the deadbeat dad down, no matter where the hell he is, even if he's in jail, and find his ass. Okay? I'm sick of this shit. We're dealing with normal black people are forced to live amongst and deal with the end results, the exhaust, the waste product of liberal policies. These little bastards in every sense of the word that run around disrupting neighborhoods, destroying property, ruining my image. They need to be gotten rid of, them and their mothers. I'm sick of them. They ruin everything. Everything. I, and I, I keep talking about it. An elderly woman can't come out to celebrate because some little nigga is running around with a gun. See, the white liberal, the white liberal will tell you, you know, since he's made you feel like such a victim, since he's made you feel like your biggest problem in the world is white supremacy and racism, he facilitates that shit because he knows that you'll never look in the mirror. Oh, we don't make guns. We don't own. We don't own any gun manufacturers. We don't bring the drugs in. I'm save the shit. Save it. You sound like fucking special ed kids. You sound like special ed kids. Running around, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives and I was one of them. When Eric Garner got shot, when that, no, no, when Eric Garner got choked, I was out there protesting. But then I realized, I started to realize, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the same feel as Occupy Wall Street. Then you start to realize, oh, okay, you start to see the the old white-haired liberal, you know people out there organizing their little super stupid students then you realize it's just it's just the democrats and george soros whatever but you niggas make me sick you make me fucking sick and the reason why you make me sick is because you waste no opportunity to make yourselves look like fucking savages and in turn you reflect on me, and people like me. They get up every day, go to work, make moves, try to progress in life. You people are disgusting. And I'm not talking to my people. I'm not talking to black people. I'm talking about you niggas. How fucking embarrassing. Another thing I wanted to bring up, this, this, with, with, with Kaepernick and what he's doing in regards to taking a knee during the anthem because he feels his country doesn't represent him because of some of the injustices that have happened in regards to unarmed black men being shot. Way to go. Way to, way to add weight to his position. As soon as the weather get hot, you act like savages. You kill each other. You shoot each other, stab each other, rob each other. Like, what the fuck? And I don't care. Oh, white people rob white people. And I know about the fake bullshit statistics the white liberal feeds you so you can still lean on your victimization card. It's all bullshit. That's Fire Barrel, man. I'm out, man.